In this video, we're gonna talk about five neighborhoods near downtown San Luis. Let's go. Hi there and welcome back to Central Coast Living. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're coming back, glad to see you here. So today we are out and about in San Luis Obispo, uh, California, here on the Central Coast. And we're doing something really special. We're getting out on the field. I have a good little gal here who knows San Luis really well. Meet Nikki Pearson. Hello. Hello. <laughs> And guys, we're in California and it's raining. Um, we in San Luis, it's, we don't see this often, but we're gonna just do our best to give you a good feel of some neighborhoods today. So this is a special one. We're gonna um, give you some perspective of areas here that are very desirable. Um, we get this information from uh, the MLS, how quickly things sell, uh, things that are near downtown, neighborhoods that are near downtown. So we're going to go through that for you here um, in a short bit. So sit tight and we're going to give you a really great tour. All right. So you saw uh, Nicole and myself in the intro. And so we're going to talk about the five areas in San Luis Obispo that are very close to downtown. Some neighborhoods that you should be aware of as you're coming into San Luis Obispo, exploring the area, discovering it, trying to see where you want to put your family here if you've been thinking about relocating to San Luis Obispo, California. So the first one we're going to talk about is called Ann Home Neighborhood District, if you will. And they just received a state grant where they're going to make a bike trail from that neighborhood on over to downtown. Um, they're improving um, some of the, the sidewalks, the walkways. Um, there's going to be, to be more pedestrian friendlier. So that's exciting. That's in the works in 2022. Uh, but just the neighborhood of Anholm is what we're going to talk about. I'm going to bring it up on a map. So sit tight. All right. So here is downtown San Luis Obispo. It is on the east side of the 101. Um, as we've talked about in other videos, the Highway 101 is going to be your main um, a way of transportation as far as our main freeway, along with some other major highways. But this is the one that you're going to familiarize yourself with and get to know as you are coming into the Central Coast in San Luis Obispo. So again, here's downtown. We're going to talk about, you're going to hear South Street brought up um, from Nicole in our videos. Here's Broad. Um, so the first neighborhood, as I said, we're going to talk about is Ann Home. So here we go. I'm going to bring it up for you. So Ann Home is the neighborhood itself is um, tucked away between two, the neighborhood here on Ann Home Park, which we're going to talk about in the footage that's coming up, but you're near Sierra Vista. So we're going to do like a loop around downtown so that you could see some neighborhoods again that are close proximity. We're talking about five to seven minutes or so um, in either way of transportation, uh, walking, or any means that um, is in your life to uh, move around and get to locations. So again, here we go with At Home um, Neighborhood and Nicole is gonna take it away. Okay, here we are still in At Home District in beautiful San Luis Obispo. We are on Murray Street. If you can see all the beautiful over uh, mature tree growth here that just canopies over the street. It is a stunning neighborhood here. Uh, some of the pros of this neighborhood are it's close proximity between the foothill commercialized neighborhoods as well as the historic downtown San Luis Obispo. But you will get a little bit of college student traffic. Uh, daytime and nighttime uh, could be a little louder foot traffic coming through here. There's a, there are some rentals, so if that's a concern of yours, do make sure you're checking for signs on neighboring properties for college students. But overall, this is a very lovely and charming neighborhood for families, for um, really all age ranges. And what street are we coming up on? We are, this is Murray meeting Santa Rosa here. Perfect. All right, we're checking out some more. Should have 
out of town. All right, so I'm hoping that you are enjoying our footage in the rain. In the rain. We've been in the sunshine and the rain. You're my sunshine, you're my rain. And uh, we really wanted to do this for you. So, so here we are, we were at Ann Home Park uh, neighborhood area. Now we're going to explore San Luis Drive which is on the opposite side. Again, we're doing a little loop here. So here's San Luis Drive, and we're gonna go ahead and give you some info on that. So here we are, we are on uh, Johnson and up on the right-hand side, we'll switch off to the left here, but up, if you continue going about a block, there's the big French hospital. We are now on San Luis Bay Drive. This is a highly desirable neighborhood in San Luis Obispo. Honestly, there's some status there. If you say you live on San Luis Bay Drive or uh, off of San Luis Bay Drive, um, people say, oh, really? Oh, very good, that's great. And for good reason. Here, we've got the uh, Tigers High School off to the right here. Um, it's very close to downtown. We just came off of the South Higuera, you know, historic downtown. But if you take a left here, on California, you pop right into Monterey. And on Monterey, we've got the Apple Farm, we have um, access, easy access to Cal Poly. But up here, you're close to Cal Poly, but all of that rental and college student uh, is completely being avoided up here. That We don't have a lot of rentals. We're still seeing a little bit of the high school here. They just redid their all their fields and their pool and all of that. So we, you see nice big wide streets here, lovely sidewalks, very eclectic uh, home styles. We're in the, the lower part here. Let's see here. So you get some elevation yes, in this neighborhood. Nice mature trees. Uh, so some of these are gonna be renovated. Yes. Um, and I know there is some prestige in this air in this area um, and so close to the high school close to downtown yes and you're right here on, on the, the hills right. oh, you can see the hills there's not a lot of trail access right here per se but you, you get that privacy you get the views check out this rain you guys <laughs> oh and we got goodness. it so everything's getting washed up looking really fresh and we need it some so, unique styles here yeah style here right on the hill here some good modern paint color choices good landscape it's just a, a very nice well maintained well established community so price points they are very different here they can range up into that 2 to 2.5 down into that that 900 almost for a smaller lot for a smaller home in this neighborhood but it is very well worth it okay our third neighborhood here is the railroad district so let's take a look at it on the map down here okay so here is the railroad district as you see it on the map and we're going to take you through that so as you're coming into the area take um take make reservations to cafe roma if you can i'll put the link in the description so you can get a feel for that particular uh sector of san Luis. a lot of history there as i've mentioned before san Luis is enriched with so much history and this is a little special spot here with you know breakfast places coffee places little restaurants little things to go, go to um, shops and things like that it's very small um, but a cute little spot 
and we do have some film of some of the properties there, some of the homes. Um, so nothing's alike, and uh, Nicole's going to describe that a little bit more in detail. So let's go. Welcome to the Railroad District here in San Luis Obispo. We are showing you here the gem of Sally Lou's. This is a great place to grab a cup of coffee, a uh, brunch on a weekend morning. It is popping, so get here early. There's extra parking over by. <laughs> Sweet little uh, lights out there, and there's a there's a walk up coffee refill station, so you don't even have to stand in line. Nice. In this area, we of course have the railroad museum. We have the Cafe Roma, which is fantastic for date night, for uh, a nice quiet dinner, and great Italian food. They do some great catering as well. The homes down in this neighborhood are. Uh, very eclectic again it is not a planned unit development if you can see right through there we're looking right at downtown you are very close here so downtown is this way uh, those street lights right down there yeah. yep in between those trees right there down that way. and then also we have Del Monte Cafe off to the left behind us and here is Gus's Grocery now although it's called Gus's Grocery this is the best sand one of the best sandwich places in all of San Luis. <laughs> okay, so your homes here are, because of the close proximity to downtown, they're going to be a little bit higher. We're talking, you know, that, that 9 to 1.6, because we can, there are some pockets here where we have some Victorian style homes, which are very tall and uh, beautiful. We have the Bill Roman Greenway here that stretches all along, protecting, uh, our, our strong bicycle paths in town here. I'm gonna lead you to a Victorian style home here. We have um, Mitchell Park is right in this neighborhood as well. And on what streets again? Let's okay, see. so we are, um, let's see, when we first came in, this is Osos here, and Osos in Santa Barbara is right where that railroad district and a meets and that's where you'll find Sally Lou's. And this here is Mitchell Park. It's a lovely park. It's, uh, there's a playground on the other side, but there is a homeless population that hangs out there in the evenings. So it's a great daytime space, but just something to be aware of in the evenings. Street. Behind us is the railroad dis district that we just came from. So that's on the southeast side of town. In front of us here, as we come down, um, this is south. So this is meeting South Street here. So on the left hand side, that was Meadow Park. And that is uh, the last stop on our trek here. And then on the right side of South Street is going to be the Hawthorne district where beautiful Hawthorne School is. You can see the rolling hills on both sides. The airport is down broad here about, on the left. Um, yep, on the left, about another mile or so. And so you've got close proximity to that. Okay, so here we are approaching Meadow Park here on the right, or on the left, and we'll get into that in greater detail. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we're hoping that you find this information of value. And if you do, please hit that like button. It helps other people just like you find the information. And uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. We're working really hard to bring you the information. And then don't forget to leave us a comment and let us know what it is that you are interested in knowing about here on the Central Coast, California. All right, so here we are 
It, our next one, number four, is a Hawthorne a neighborhood near the elementary school right here. Again, you're, you're gonna hear uh, Nicole describe South Street and Broad Street. We've got a clip in there, so you can kind of get oriented here a little bit better. Uh, so again, this is going to be another area where you can be near a school um, and, you know, be able to get your kids facilitated, transport them to school and get off to work. Or if you're staying home, it's going to be a nice neighborhood for you to take advantage of that school. Um, if you're looking for um, the ratings for the schools, we have another video uh, again about just the schools themselves. We've done an in-depth uh, video on that for you. Um, so let's take a look at what is available and what specifically is pretty neat about this particular neighborhood. That is another area that is close to downtown San Luis Obispo. Okay, here we are in our fourth spot and this is the Hawthorne District. That is because Hawthorne School is the central part of this beautiful neighborhood. The average lot size in San Luis Obispo is between 6,500 square feet and 9,500 square feet. You will be a little bit on the lower end of that uh, in this neighborhood, but it is still very charming. The school is an elementary school and we are across the street from Meadow Park. We are still very close to downtown. Beautiful views of these hills. There's not a lot of second story here, so you do get a, a great view. The price point is probably that 900 on up to 300, 3 million, depending upon uh, the amenities and um, the square footage of the home. Still very eclectic, nothing's cookie cutter here. Yes, yeah, very unique. Beautiful. And just like that, we're right back out on the broad. All right. Okay, so here is our number five Meadow Park area. So this is Nicole's area. This is where she's raising her kids. So we've got some insight for you from a local perspective. Um, and Nicole has lived in many other areas. This is where Nicole is raising her family today. So let's take a look from a local perspective and here we go. Okay, here we are, very exciting in Meadow Park. You actually get a sneak peek into my backyard and why I chose to live in the beautiful Meadow Park neighborhood. Okay, so this is my yard. Um, I have three young boys. They're absolutely fantastic, two, six, and nine. And when we moved here, uh, the house is beautiful, it's really nice. Um, we actually have a second story loft, which is lovely, and a lot of the homes along this whole street do. We're actually on Corita Drive, and Corita Drive um, backs up right next to the park. It's beautiful, guys, check this out. Okay, so right out here, when you come out here, this is a half mile paved loop trail, perfect with strollers, perfect for if you are um, just, if you're older community, we, it's not bumpy at all. If you see this cute little um, trail here, this little stream, it comes, it's a natural river that comes down. It's fed from the hills here and it uh, comes down and joins with the San Luis uh, River and into the ocean here. So I know the trees are blocking it here, but there's um, a community garden. We have a playground. We have a community center, lovely events. They do movies in the park. They do an Easter egg hunt. They do um, wonderful Halloween things too. It's just such a lovely place. So this trail here, if you're not up for the whole half mile, uh, there's a little bridge where you can cut across. In the fall, you see a lot of families coming to take pictures, getting ready for their, their holiday cards. And uh, it's really sweet. So we have basketball, we have baseball, we have playgrounds, there's maybe, I think there's six ways to enter the park. It's just a beautiful spot. All right, the only way that we can help you find that sweet spot here on the Central Coast is you've got to reach out. You've got to give us a call, text, email, day, evening, weekend, it does not matter. We're looking forward to hearing from you and can't wait to help you figure out where you want to land here on the Central Coast. So until the next video, we'll catch 
you later. Thank you.